we have to emphasize the development of what uh, some of us call human capabilities as being a central feature of bringing about a change in the world. Development is a very simple subject at some level because what it is really concerned with is to remove the deprivations that plague human life. I think you have to look at how much freedom people have to have control over their lives, the kind of thing they would like to do, they have reason to want to do, and it's that. So it's the expansion of human freedom. That's really the central issue of development, and in particular, removing unfreedoms of various kinds. In the context of crisis, of course, with some continents, particularly Africa, has been so badly hit by, um, there's another range of issues, which are not standard deprivation that had gone on for thousands of years, but recent deprivations coming from a crisis either an economic crisis, uh, a political crisis, dictatorship, military regimes, war and destruction. So I think we have to recognize that freedom is a multi-pronged idea uh, and, and all the prongs matter. Zadde, Basatu. Mm, Talo, Ruako Savant. Abana Ruavaleka, Tebalina Babazara. Aten, we do bad denga, Vacam Anticati. Avant, but a day at all, what then a woodja, or what the wooda, or Mukuru, or Mana Nayakati, Miss Omaja to gain the two We can do an enormous amount to make uh, the lives of uh, each other better. We live in a very interdependent world. And uh, some of us are fortunate to live in circumstances where we have more control over our, our lives compared with others who don't. But since we can see what the importance of having control over one's own life uh, happens to be, we have to emphasize the development of what uh, some of us call human capabilities. Not that you bestow development on people, but you actually make people more enabled. One of the organizations that um, uh, I think is uh, doing extraordinarily good work, which deserves greater recognition, is the FXB. And I think one of the things that the FXB as an approach have tended to do is to concentrate on the building of the capabilities of the families and through that uh, their ability to help their children. And so much so that then of course when the children grow up they have their individual capabilities to pursue their own life. <laughs> Abana Tebasoma, Serena Sabuni, and Ivampa Project. Cutty Project, Yale Yali and Tenganda. Tunua Mat, get to Agaraguna, Idanetu Tundako, 
Nigatu yamba waka sente zin yamba nebayam pere dakaba naba vidi Morala Katina Somo was sawa kola was I think one of the interesting things in the FXB approach is the building up of the capability of people on the basis of past experience. So for example, if you get help of FXB and overcome your own deprivation, then not only do you overcome the deprivation, you also acquire something, a certain knowledge about how to deal with the deprivation. Then you are in a position to help others. Nata People won't get things right immediately, and the way to get things right is to put it under public scrutiny. I'm a great believer in public reasoning. It's one of the most important freedoms in terms of consequences that human beings have and which make a big difference to how development might go, what would be achieved, and whether people's deprivations could be, could be removed. So the recognition that in many ways we can make the lives of each other um, through more support, more sympathy, uh, more communication, which is very important also, and more cooperative action, much richer, much more free is an enormously important lesson.